Height your cuts or more precisely jump cuts in DaVinci Resolve 20. This is today's topic. Maybe you cut your videos and it looks like this. Have you recognized it? This was a cut and I am jumping around unnaturally when you're almost at the same position and your brain will skip it most of the time. But when it's not or you do it too often, it becomes disturbing and not fun to watch anymore. All right, what if I tell you now that within the last five seconds, I've also been using cuts, but I used one specific transition in DaVinci Resolve 20 smooth cut with a little helper called AI. Let's check it out together and if you enjoy my tutorials leave a like and a sub for more videos from me. Let's get right into it. Okay, we are right in DaVinci Resolve 20 here in the Studio Edition and I've already copy pasted from the media pool my main file of the intro you've already seen here in my timeline. You can see there are some scenes where I have to cut it. So let's check out this one, for example. Cut and I don't... I am jumping around unnaturally when you... Your brain will skip position and uh, your brain will skip it. You're right. So I made some mistakes intentionally so that you have a demonstration how this should work. So normally when I talk in my intro sequence or so, I have one or two hiccups and then I have to do some cuts and with the smooth cut version you can hide them a bit. So how do we do it? We go to the first scene, let's check it hide out. Hide your cuts or more precisely jump cuts in DaVinci Resolve 20. This is today's topic. Maybe you cut um, your videos and... Okay, here is the first scene. So I will do a normal cut. As you can see I say... Is today's topic. Maybe you cut um, your videos. You cut your videos. So there in the middle I say M and so, yeah. Maybe you cut... Um, maybe you cut... Okay, so I will do here a cut. And then... Um, your videos... Okay, and you're here, the next one. So I go simply to this section, press delete on my keyboard and it's gone. So when you see it here, you have it like this. Today's topic. Maybe you cut your videos and it looks like this. Uh, have you recognized it? Okay, the next cut is here. Let's delete this as well. And looks like this. Have you recognized it? This was the cut and I don't... I am jumping around. Um, it was the cut and I don't... And I, I am jumping around? I am jumping around. This was the cut and I don't... And this was the cut... And, uh, and here, we do here a cut and here a cut and then I delete this section. This was the cut and I am jumping around unnaturally yeah. when you're almost at the same position and uh, your brain will skip it most of the time. But Good, then we will do it here and here the cut because your brain will skip it. Let's see if you see it You're here as well. almost at the same position and your brain will skip it. More. Okay, I think you will see it, but this is not such at a hard cut. Position and your brain will skip. And when you compare it this to this one, and I am jumping around. Yeah. And now you see my position is completely different. So I had to freeze and then you can continue talking. So this is a better cut, but at even that, position and your brain you will see it, right? Okay, let's continue. All right, what if I tell... Hmm, you now okay and now i will show you the smooth cut and not fun to watch anymore all right what if i tell hmm, you now that okay so now we will use the first smooth cut what if i tell hmm, you now here tell you now and this is a cut so normally i would just delete this sequence and then you will see it like this watch anymore all right, what if I tell you now that within the last five Okay, and now we will go here on the very left side to our menu, toolbox, video transition. So when it's not selected, please click here. And then let's go to dissolve. And here the last one is smooth cut. Simply drag and drop this part between your clips. Maybe then you reduce it a bit. And let's see how it looks now. What if I tell you now that within the last five seconds, I've okay, so you know that within the last five seconds, so it 
produced Watch an anime. AI transition right, here. If I tell you now that within the last five seconds... So it was smoothly and the transition, I don't think that you recognized it in the intro. Yeah. So what's the secret of this? As I said, AI is supporting this function. And when you hear, you can also click on the smooth cut part here. So on the red box. And then you go up to the inspector on the right upper side here. When it's not open, just click it here in the corner. And then you have video. When video transition, it should be pre-selected if there is no other effect on this part of this video. And you simply go to video. And here this is activated. And as soon as you drag and drop your transition to your video parts, it is visible here and activated here. This slide is activated. You could also deactivate it here, then it's gone but we want to have it activated. And then you see the transition type is smooth cut. You could choose also another one in your list on the toolbox side, but in general, the smooth cut is pre-select because you dragged and dropped it to your section. Then you have the duration in seconds, how many frames set this duration default. I can also set this to my default. Then the alignment is in the middle, not more on the first clip, on the second clip, it should be directly in the middle. And you have an ease here. I say, no, I want to keep it the same level all the time. Plus the transition curve should be not changed at all. But the most important thing is this speed warp. The speed warp is this transition which hides your cuts when there is not too much movement in between. So when I deactivate it here, you can see you know that within the last this seconds, looks a I bit weird you know that within the last because there these hand movements are jumping around the it's duplicated and you see that two videos are you know that within the combined and when i activate the speed warp you should have you know that within the last five seconds not those I've issues also, let's check out the next part now that within the last five seconds i've also been Okay, so this is also a break here. I stop talking and now I will delete this as well. And let's see. Second, I've also been using. Okay, let's do a smooth cut again. We know it. Let's reduce it to 20. I think this was also around 20. Yes, I think this is fine. Go to 18. Okay, and then let's see. Five seconds. I've also been using cut. Okay, but I use perfect. The next one is here. Let's remove it and do the smooth cut. Reduce it to 18. But I used one specific transition. And as you can see here, but I used one specific when the movement is too fast, you will recognize it that the fingers will warp a little bit around as you can see it's like it's wobbling or duplicated so like ghost hands moving around i don't know but as you can see here but i use it's not perfect but in the it still works so maybe you could use it for the first two parts and the third one if there are strange movements you simply could skip this and do a normal cut yeah so of 20 smooth cut with a little let me but check this I use again one specific transition in davinci resolve 20. Yeah. okay and i would say this is the magic of smooth cuts but i want to show you another example very briefly when i move the timeline around you can see here a video from my newer review from a microphone if you are interested in that i tested every single part of this wireless microphone in this review right here. So if you're interested, go there. But anyhow, there is a scene where I move down because I do a range test and here I made some mistakes. I had too many breaks in it and I had to cut something out. So I decided to go with normal cuts because I want to show you what happens when you cut or use smooth cuts too intensively or the program is not able to compensate it. So for example, let's zoom in here a bit. I'm going here the path down and you can see I don't want to have this part, for example. So in this part, I'm not saying the right thing, something like that. And I will cut this out and I will, yeah, just, just a tiny bit. So now I will delete this scene. And when you use a smooth cut now, you can do it. So, and then let's go to 18 again. So I think this is the sweet spot, at least for me. And then let's see what happens here. Yeah. You can see the smooth cut tries to compensate the movement, 
and tries to use AI to fill in the missing frames, but it does not work here because as you can see the picture is destroyed and also when I'm moving around here I'm warping from one end to the another so it's like beaming, this makes no sense. So in that case when I go here you can see yeah, it's cutting me out here because it's missing the information. So we're not that far that AI can calculate everything and replace me in the missing part here. But I think it still works for scenes when you have, I don't know, really here a small part. And then I do smooth cut. I think you will see it, but it will not be that. Yeah, I mean, you can see it, but when you use it just a little bit I would say it looks better and when I'm zooming out again yeah you see a second arm here so it's not perfect so I would not recommend to use it in that way but for talking headshots for example or moving sceneries where nothing moves in between and you cut out when a bird flies through the image and you cut it out and there is not so much movement you can use the smooth cut and then it's fine because then it just takes the more like still images and combines them and then you have a seamless scene again all right but i think that's it and we are done with the tutorial all right that wasn't too complicated but it's effective does it solve all jump cut problems mm, no can ai hide everything hell no but when you know how to use it you can get away with it for example, when I mess up, I freeze in my position and then when I continue talking, I cut and use smooth cut and you won't even notice it, right? So I hope you've enjoyed my new DaVinci Resolve 20 tutorial. If you did, I would really appreciate a like and a sub here. And if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to drop them down below. Wanna watch more useful tutorials? Here is my playlist. Have fun, stay healthy, take care, and I will see you in the next one.